In this video, we're going to play a little game called Target Number. And this is really to get your child thinking about the relationship between addition and subtraction and how numbers can be easily changed around with those relationships. So, Aaron, this is a new game. We've never played this one before, okay? So it's called Target Number. So all I've done is I've prepared some post-it notes on a paper and I've given the target number of 12. And I've just put numbers that I think you could be used in combination to make 12. So what you're going to do is you're going to do some adding mm -hmm. and some taking away to try and get to the answer 12, okay? Mm. Do you think you can do that? I'm going to have green. You're going to have green, okay. So we're going to do one together to start off with mm -hmm. and then you're going to have a wee go at doing one yourself, okay? So let's see. I am going to say, I'm going to choose eight. Or you can write eight down. Okay, eight plus four equals what? Eight plus four equals the same. I'm just going to twelve. Good boy. How did you do that? <laughs> Thinking in my head. You thought in your head, did you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask you, could you show me how you did that on a number line? So here's a blank number line. So again, getting your child to explore different methods as well, just to really make sure that they are having that good understanding. So here's a blank number line. What number is going to go at the beginning? One. No, you don't need numbers on it. It's a blank one. Isn't that a clever one? You can put whatever number you want on it. So what number are you going to put at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah, and then how many jumps are you going to do? One. What number are you going to land on? 12. Good boy. Let's just check. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good job. I... Do you think you can make 12? So you can take the post-its off if you want, okay? Yeah. So you might need one number or two numbers or three numbers. <laughs> Or you might need to do some adding and you might need to do some taking away as well. Ooh. So let's see. So choose two numbers to begin, begin with. So this is a really mm -hmm. challenging activity. I wouldn't start this activity with a child that's still focusing on adding and taking away. But Aaron is a wee bit um, more advanced than that. Mm -hmm. And he really likes the idea of a Six. challenge and he, he sees those connections between numbers. So this is one where you want to push your child and progress him a wee bit further. So what are you going to choose? Six and five. Right, six and five. Okay, so what are you going to do with these? Are you going to add them? Are you going to take them away or what? Add. Right, okay. So put Six. your adding symbol in there. Six plus, put your adding in there. Five equals what? Well, I should know this. Okay, so equals 11. So have we got to our target number? What is our target number? No. No. So this is where you're really challenging your child. You're pushing them to think a wee bit more outside the box. You're getting them to think that wee step further. Okay, so no, no, that's right. Is there anything else we could add to make yeah. it to 12? Yeah, we could add one as well. So could you think we could have three numbers in our calculation? Yeah. So let's rub that out and let's have six plus five plus one. Now try and work it out. What do you get? Sorry, I'm stealing your pen on you. So now we're getting into that idea of the concept of adding three numbers and we're going to even push him this a little bit harder um, and really get thinking about those relationships. So good boy. So we've got six plus five to... plus one. Okay, right. Ready? I Put these to... back on the board. Okay. And you're going to try different ones now and see if you can get to 12 again, right? So what are you going to choose this time? So just by letting them choose those initial first numbers, it gives them the opportunity to think about what they're going to work with and how they're going to develop that and how they're going to push themselves you that wee bit further. You should have the 12. Yeah, well, we can, might not have room 
Okay, so what are we going to choose again? Six this time again? Six. Six. Four and two. Okay, six. Are you adding or taking away? What are you doing? Adding again. Are you going to add them all? Yeah. Okay, right. Actually, where right, I like. Right, let's see. Let's see. Six plus four plus two equals you work it out for me so immediately he's went for that idea of adding those three numbers again so he's taking on what on board what he has learned and he's pushing himself that little bit further and that's what we want to encourage and push your child so that they are making that progress making those connections and putting that maths into context and how did you know it was 12 well six plus four 12 you know you know that Oh, and then you're going to add your two on? And, te and 10 plus 2 is, you should know, is 12. Good boy. Well done. So we find another way. So let's stick these back on again. And do you know what I'm going to do for you, Aaron? Mm -hmm. On this blank piece of paper over here, I'm going to write these all down so we don't mix them up. So what did we have? We had 8 plus, four, plus 12 plus 4, yes. It was 12. And we had 6 plus 5 plus 1 which was 12, mm -hmm. and we had six plus four plus two. Now, I'm going to really challenge you this time. This is going to be even more difficult. Do you think you can do it? Mm -hmm. This time I'm going to ask you to see if you could do a taking away. Okay. But you might need to do some adding first. So. Let's see, what are you going to choose now? The biggest number, eight. eight. Okay, and what are you going to add it to? And six. Right, eight plus six. Right, we'll do that bit first. And see Wait. where we need to go. And take away, take away two. You think it's going to be take away two? Right, write out your calculation then. Put your symbols in. So immediately he's starting to think about what he needs to do to get to that target number. And this is where we really want to focus. Okay, so I let's check. Do... So what bit are you doing first? Now you've done a plus in here. Should that be a plus? No. What should that be? That should be take away. Okay, so put take away in there. Right, now tell me what you're going to do first. So Aaron has decided he wants to use a number line, and that is great. Encourage your child to use whatever method they feel most comfortable with. So he is working on his number line to add his six and his eight. Okay. Good boy. Well done. How are you going to know how many jumps you've done? Have you been checking? Okay, so, okay. And three, I didn't. Oh, I understand, then you're gonna go back and then go back to, so you've done six plus eight gets you to 14, and mm -hmm. then you've went back to to get you to? 12. 12, good boy, excellent. I love how you've shown that on your number line. That is really, really good. Okay, right, excellent. So do you think we could do one last one with the yeah. taking away? You're really, impre you've really impressed me with this, Aaron, because this is really difficult, but you've really, really been thinking sensibly, yeah. right? Okay, right, so we'll see if you can do another one that begins with adding and then ends with taking away. Well, what do you think? maybe eight again? You're gonna start with eight again, okay. And, and five. Okay, and what are you going to do to eight and five? Take away one. Take away one. Oh, you want to do take away one? Yeah. Okay, right, let's see if you're right. Right, you can do your working out. So it's great to see that Aaron has is choosing the numbers. He's thinking about the symbols. He's thinking about the relationship of getting the number bigger and then coming back again on himself. And then he's actually using little methods and strategies to work that out and this this is the value of this activity you get all of that from just a simple bit of paper and a few post-it notes you can make your target number as big or as little as you want and also even if you want to use some calculators in there 
do feel free to do that as well because children will need to use calculators as well as part of the curriculum so you could even have it as a calculator challenge for the older children and um, to really challenge them or make it that they can only use multiplication and subtraction or whatever you can stipulate the rules you can stipulate how the challenge goes but I think the most important part of this little activity is that actually you go with your child and let them explore and enjoy and get all that mathematical language in there and have all those mathematical chats and really just allow them to enjoy it. So what did you do, let me say? So you did 5 plus 8, got you to 13. And take away 1. Then you took away 1, got you to... 12. Woohoo! Good job. Excellent. As you can see, Aaron has really enjoyed this and we'll probably continue on to find other combinations. Music